before I get started, um, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. You know, still processing everything. Um, but um, I wanted to get back at it with the Monday motivation, man. <clears throat> you know, especially with the Super Bowl yesterday. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. And, you know, what? congratulations to the Niners, too, even though it sucks. You know, making it there is a huge accomplishment, but there can only be one. Congratulations to the Chiefs. Congratulations to Kansas City, uh, Missouri. I know um, they've been waiting on that one for a long time. So, you know, I know the fans are very happy. You know, um, definitely got to, you know, say a big congratulations to the MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Um, it looks like he is poised to do um, some great things in this league. You know, knocking that out at such a young age is uh, important. You know, now the real begins in defending the title and doing it again because that's what it's always about, right? Every, people say anybody can do it once and all that stuff. But that's not what I want to talk about. I just said the word earlier, poise. You know, I want to talk about poise, man, because um, watching that game, one can argue that San Francisco had control of the game, you know, most of, they had control most of the game. Let's be, uh, let's be frank. But the Chiefs had poise. You know, their leader, Mahomes, had poise at a very young age. He was just, you, you never felt like, even though they were behind, you never felt like they were going to lose. You never felt like they were worried or they were, in too deep over their head. And sometimes you just have to rise to the occasion. Keep your poise and continue to play the game. Continue to do your business. Or keep your head down and, um, you know, just accomplish those small goals instead of saying, oh, man, we're down 10 points. What are we going to do? Let all these things, negativity creep in your head. You concentrate on the task at hand and um, you handle it with great poise. You go into it saying, hey, this is what we need to do. You compartmentalize your problems and then, you know, you attack it and go on from there. Um, I think that's huge because a lot of people sometimes will, your mind will worry too much if you've had a bad week or a bad day or, you know, you'll bring last week into this week because it's the start of this week and you're like, man, last week was, was messed up and I can't, re no. Have poise, I don't care how bad it gets, have poise and move on to the next thing. <clears throat> Try to make sure that the next thing you do starts a positive step and you get hot and move. That's all I wanted to say. You know, I got inspired watching the uh, Chiefs, you know, really handle that the way that they did and, 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 you know, to continue to believe in their team and not get too erratic, you know, just because they were down. They didn't get too high or too low. They kept playing the game. And, you know, they did a great job. So congratulations to the Chiefs. And if you're out there, you know, it's Monday, man. Let's get back on the horse, man. Let's get back on the horse and let's make some things happen. You know, that's what, uh, you know, have that Mamba, that Mamba mentality, all right? You know, we got to keep that thing going and make sure we, you know, attack the day, um, attack the week uh, with some great things.